everyone. You're just in time. We're playing a game of space blocks. Oh! Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Careful, Rob! Uh. Oh! Huh? Right? Really? Where's the fun in that? <laughs> <laughs> Building towers is tons of fun. I'd love to build a life-size tower with super giant building blocks. Oh, me too. That does sound kind of cool. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Somewhere we can build a life size tower with giant building blocks. That sounds like a fun mission. Let's see where you can go. Sport Planet! A great place to find starting blocks, but we need building blocks. Origami Planet! <laughs> Perfect for building paper airplanes, but not for wooden towers. Whoa! That place looks towerific! <laughs> yes, the building block planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! Stop the building block planet. and see who can build their tower the fastest. And the strongest. Yeah! TK's on my team. I'm with Orbit. Woohoo! Yay! Let's do oh, it! Ready? Steady? Build! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ow! Ow! Hmm. All the red ones are square-shaped. And those orange ones all look like the letter L. 
Let's sort the blocks into different colors first. That way we can easily work out which ones to use for the foundation. Uh, the what nation? <laughs> foundation, Rob. Foundations are built at the bottom and keep a building strong and safe. A strong foundation stops it from falling over. I get it, just like our space blocks game. Mm -hmm. This will be the best tower ever! Woohoo! This is so easy, Emma! Look, we are way ahead of Rob and TK! We'll have our tower finished before they've even placed the first block! <laughs> I may have been a bit too fast there. <laughs> no problem. We still have plenty of time to build another. Only this time, we need to build even faster. <laughs> this foundation looks great. What's next? According to the picture, the next pieces are the blue blocks. Roger that. Blue blocks coming up. Only this time, we need to build at super speed. Super speed, my specialty. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah. We're nearly there. We're at the final stage. According to the picture, there should only be two green blocks left. Triangle shape, right? Correct. Then we're finished. Woohoo! I wonder how Emma and Orbit are getting on. Hopeless. Every time we get close to the top, the tower falls over. Maybe we are not built to build towers. Hmm. Hey, you guys, don't give up. You can still do it. All it takes is a little patience and some help. The picture gives clues on what pieces go where. <gasps> the picture! Gosh, we got so caught up in the race, we forgot all about following the instructions. Hey, why don't we all help build a tower together? We'll have this up before you can say Bolt Boy! Bolt Boy! <laughs> <laughs> is a small white piece shaped like an upside-down letter U. you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the building block planet so we could build ourselves a life-size tower. TK and I learned it's best to 
organize things before building. But Emma and Orbit weren't so organized. They decided it was better to build super fast. And each time they rushed, their tower toppled over before they could finish. We learned that if you're careful and follow the instructions, you can build almost anything. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five. Female aviator or pilot. <laughs> she flew airplanes just like your model, Rob. It's a tail dragger airplane. Is that what this is? Cool. <laughs> I think so. I love all airplanes tail draggers and tricycle gear planes, oh. biplanes, and jets. Wow. <gasps> you know a lot about planes, TK. I just wish we could see a real one. Maybe we can. There must be some place in the galaxy where we can see real old-fashioned airplanes. Yeah, and that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can see real airplanes. That sounds like a high-flying idea. Let's see where you can go. Spare part planet? That's a good place to find airplane parts, but we don't want to build one. Book planet? We don't want to read about airplanes. We want to see them. The Aviation Planet! That's it! That's the perfect place to see old airplanes! Yes, the Aviation Planet! Excellent choice! Get ready for countdown! Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! gear airplane. Oh, uh -huh. And this one is a biplane. Oh. That one's a jet. Oh. <laughs> Those are tail dragger airplanes, similar to your model, Rob. Rob? Hey, wait for me!
one of these. You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> red robot to Blue Baron, do you read me? Copy that, Red Robot. Ready for takeoff? Takeoff? I double dare you. Let's see if these planes can really fly. <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. bad. I can't watch. one thing, and landing a plane is a whole other bucket of bolts. Landing? I never even thought of that! I'm pretty sure Rob and Emma haven't thought of it either. Rob? Emma? Tell me you know how to land a plane! Land? Uh, well, not exactly. Rob? I've landed the rocket plenty of times, but not an old airplane. Rockin' robots. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. All right, stay calm, follow my instructions, and you'll land the plane just fine. Roger that, TK. We're all ears. Okay, first, line up with the runway and put your flaps down. That'll slow you down. Check. Check. Now, pull back on the throttle. That'll slow you down even more. Roger that. Now, choose a landing spot on the runway. Emma, you come down first. Oh, I can't watch. That's it. Now cut the power and pull the throttle back. Okay, now what? Okay. Thank goodness you know so much about planes. If it weren't for you, we wouldn't have landed safely. 
That's the plain truth, all right. We shouldn't have been up there. You saved us. Hooray for TK! I say this is <laughs> one sky-high mission accomplished. Yay! <laughs> mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? planet to see real airplanes. Only Rob and I got carried away. Up, up and away, into the air. Flying a plane was fun, but landing it was a whole other matter. Thankfully, TK was there to help us. Following TK's instructions, we landed safely. Next time, we'll pay more attention to rules and not get carried up, up and away. A soaring mission accomplished. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Aviation Planet! Verily, for I am Sir Rock. Brave knight in search of good deeds to do. Verily is how knights say it's true. Oh, I have a good deed for you, Sir Rob. Huh? You can help me clean my room. Knights do way more adventurous things than that, Orbit. <laughs> you haven't seen my room. <laughs> in olden days, knights roamed the country doing brave deeds for their king and anyone else who needed it. Ooh, being a knight would be so much fun. Let's find a place where we can all be knights for a day. Yeah! Ooh, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need a place where we can be knights for a day. That sounds like fun. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Buccaneer Planet. A vast mateys. That's a super fun place to play. Verily, TK. But we want to be knights, remember? Me too, Emma. But clowns do silly things, not brave deeds. Oh, how about Castle Planet? Castles are where knights spend their days. <laughs> yes, the Castle Planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. <laughs> Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. This must be where brave knights practice doing battle stuff. And that throne must be where the king sits to watch them. That sounds like fun. But who's going to be the king? Oh. to try being the boss. All hail King Orbit! Okay. I, King Orbit, command my knights to use that
that catapult to hit that target. Yes, your orbit this. Aha! Knights use catapults to throw big rocks to knock down castle walls. But we'll use those big bean bags so we don't break anything. Bossy. Uh, he's the king, Rob. And a king is the boss. Ah, I'll go first. Ready? Aim. Fire! Huh? Ah! You missed the whole tower! Verily, I am verily disappointed. We're just warming up. Sir Rob and I still have our turns. Oh, no, you don't. Your king will show you how it's done. Oh, but kings just sit on thrones and look kingly, remember? Huh? Uh, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Then, as king, I've decided no more catapult. Aw, no fair. Like you said, he's the boss. And as your boss, I now command you to do something more entertaining. Okay, how about a joust? Right! That's where two brave knights try to knock each other off their trusty steeds. Steeds means horses. I know that. I'm the king, and kings know everything. And this king says, let the jousting begin! <laughs> Lances look like fun. You and Emma go first, Rob. Too far orbit? You could just get it yourself. Fine, I will get it myself. said please Rob's right you're not being very polite and you're way too bossy do this do that your king commands you I have been bossy huh it's no fun being king all they get to do is sit on a throne knights have all the fun being king did look boring I'm sorry I was bossy. Now, could someone please help me get down? You said the magic word. Forward, brave knights. A good deed awaits. 
Verily! Verily! Uh-oh. This gate uh, is even heavier than those uh, big bean bags. Oh. Wait, I have an idea. Orbit, the gates drop when you pull that big lance down. Maybe they'll open if you lift it up. Uh, it's stuck. I can't do it by myself. Uh. What about your jet boots, Rob? Hmm, they won't get me up that high. I know. We can use the catapult to give you a boost. That's using your noodle. Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the castle planet to be knights for a day. Orbit decided to be King Orbit, but he got too bossy and told us to do things without saying please. But when he finally said please, we were happy to help. So, we got to be brave knights and learned that you don't have to be bossy to be a good boss. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Castle Planet. He had a piece of yummy cheesecake to see if he could sniff it out. His nose just knows. Sounds like he found it. <laughs> he did. Good work, Squeak. Whoa! Uh -oh. What's that noise mean? It means our ship's getting low on fuel. Fuel is what gives our rocket the power to go. Like food gives us the power to run and jump and do everything, right? Right, Emma. I'd say cheesecake is what powers Squeak. Look at him go! What powers the rocket? We need to find geyser gas, rocket rocks, and solar seeds. Mixed together, they make rocket power. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. How can I help you today? We need a place where we can find fuel for the rocket. That's a very important mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The planet! You know, my greasy gears could use a good scrubbing. That might be true. But first, we need to find fuel for the rocket. Hello, planet! Yeah. Sorry, but nap time will have to wait till after our mission. Power planet! I'm sure we can find rocket fuel there. Yes, power planet! Perfect choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts!
stop power planets. Don't worry, Rocket. We'll get you more fuel just as soon as we can. Okay, we need two solar seeds from a solar flower, one rocket rock with rocket power, geyser gas from the ground below, put them together and the rocket will go, go, go. Right, we'll find them faster if we split up and if we use our senses. You mean like seeing, smelling, touching, hearing, and tasting? Yes. Pop's right. For example, a solar flower smells sweet. Ooh, I'll find one. Huh? Want to help me sniff out a sweet-smelling solar flower squeak? <laughs> then let's go. <laughs> I think you should get the rocket rock, Rob. Sure. Uh, but why me? Huh? Huh? Now I know why. One rocket rock coming up. We'll get the geyser gas orbit. Uh, gas is usually stinky, so we can use our sense of smell to find it, right? Nope. Hmm? Geyser gas has no smell. <gasps> Did you hear that? Come on. Uh... Whoa! Is that what I think it is? Yep. It's geyser gas, all right. We can't smell it, but we can hear and see it. <laughs> this is going to be easy. Too late. Too late again. So easy. Don't worry, we'll put Plan B into operation. As soon as we can think of a Plan B, that is. Hmm. Do you smell a solar flower? Oh, where did those rascally rocks go? I can't see them anywhere but I sure can hear them. Gotcha! Hey! <laughs> whoa, whoa. Whoa. Rocket rocks are rocket fast. They must be full of energy. So, you wanna play, huh? Way to go, Squeak! You did it! <laughs> I mean, your nose did it. Hmm, I can see the solar seeds, but how will we get them from way up there? Good idea! Okay, hop up. Solar seeds from a solar flower. Whoa! <laughs> I can feel the energy inside them. Whoops! <laughs> Sorry, Squeak. I was so excited, I almost forgot you. Oh, I wish those geysers weren't so noisy. I can't think. Noisy! That's it! The geysers make a noise before the gas gushes out. So we just have to listen for the pop, pop, popping. Ha <laughs> ha mm. <gasps> That one! <laughs> you were right! <laughs> Over there! That one!
can we put the fuel in now? Because the gas, the seeds, and the rock all have to go in at the same time. Then I sure hope Rob and Emma get here soon. Is this soon enough for you? Rob, you got a rocket rock. Yeah, or maybe it's got me! Whoa! Oh, but where are Emma and Squeak? Here we are! With two solar seeds full of solar energy, just like you asked. All thanks to Squeak and his super duper smell sniffer. Ooh. Quick, put the rock and the seeds in this tank. Now wait here while I fill her up. It's okay, Rocket. Tiki will have you all powered up in no time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did it work? Did it work? <laughs> Rocket's back to full power. And that means mission accomplished. Yay! <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the power planet to get fuel to fill the rocket's tank. TK and Orbit had to get gas from a geyser, so they used their sense of hearing to guess which one would erupt next. Squeak used his sense of smell to help Emma find some solar seeds. So we learned that our senses can help in lots of different ways. And we all got the power our rocket needed. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Orbit. Okay, who's doing the Saturn salad? All done, Rob. Chopped and tossed. Good. Let's see. The lunar lasagna is cooked. Ooh, what else is there? Comet, Comet cake, cake for dessert. dessert! Uh-oh, I knew I forgot something. Huh. What? We can't help giving dinner with a comet cake for dessert. That's what the holiday is all about. I always thought help giving was about helping one another. Uh, well, it's about that too, but it's mostly about having comet cake for dessert. It is something we always have after our holiday dinner. Emma's right. It's a tradition. We have to find a comet cake somewhere. Hmm. Wait, that sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find a comet cake for our help-giving dinner. I think I can help you with that. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The fruit planet? Fruit is yummy. But not the dessert we're looking for. Ooh, the book planet. That would be a good place to go if we wanted to read about comet cakes, but we want to eat one. Oh, now that looks like a good place. <laughs> Excellent choice, the Comet Cake Planet. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
Next up, the Comet Cake Planet. Rockin' Robots! Look at all the Comet Cakes! <laughs> start celebrating Hope Giving Day by helping ourselves. It's as hard as a coconut. What's with that? Comet cakes are supposed to be soft and cakey. Hmm, maybe this one's not ready to be picked yet. Hmm. Rob's right. It's purple, not pink. When comet cakes are ready to eat, they're pinker than me. Huh? That one looks like it's ready to be picked. Ooh. Gee, this one looks like it should have been picked a long time ago. Hmm, it's turned into a comet mush. Like all the good ones have been picked already. <laughs> there must be one good comet cake left for our holiday dessert. <gasps> and there it is! Yeah! Whoa! That's the one! Yes! <laughs> Years. He just took our comet cake. Well, he's not getting away with it. <laughs> yes, he is. Let us say goodbye to our holiday dessert. Looks like it's mission not accomplished. Which way back? I think the ship is that way. Spaceship is that? All oh, but it belongs to that greedy gears cake snatcher. Okay, Rob, what's the plan? We'll ask him nicely if he'll share some comet cake with us. Don't you mean our comet cake? Whoa, he had a crash landing. Getting hit by a meteorite is bad enough, but to have it happen on help giving day? That's the worst. You'll never be able to fix it without the right tools. He's got supper all laid out. Only there's nothing to eat. Maybe that's why he wanted the comet cake so badly. Hey, how come there's two bowls? Huh? <laughs> hey there, little fella. I'd say the little guy's hungry. Now what do we do? Well, it is help giving day, so let's give him a little help. Think you can fix the ship, TK? I'm on it, Rob. Give me a hand with the food from our rocket, Emma. Dinner's about to be served. What about me? I want to help, too. Hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Not the baby. 
I don't know anything about babies. <laughs> You'll figure it out. your ship so you and your son can head for home right after we eat. you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the Comet Cake Planet to get one for our help-giving dinner dessert. But every Comet Cake was too hard or too mushy, except one. But another robot took it. We thought he was being greedy. But then we found out he and his son were just hungry. Since Help Giving Day is to celebrate helping others, we helped them by fixing their broken spaceship so they could go home. And we learned how much others appreciate it when you take the time to help them. That's a good thing to remember, even when it's not Help Giving Day. Now, time to go. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, We're going to play show and share, and Orbit's up first. Ooh, today, the thing I want to show and share is my space top. When you spin it really fast, <laughs> it balances on its tiny tip. Yeah, we know, Orbit. <laughs> That's because you always show your space top for show and share. Maybe you have something new to show and share with us? Uh, nope. Nothing new. How about you, TK? Or Rob? Or Emma? Hmm. It looks like we all have the same things we usually show and share. No one has anything new. Then I think this means we all have something new. A new mission. <laughs> to find something new for each of us to show and share. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find new things for show and share. Okay, then. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. <laughs> How about tree planet? But we learned all about trees the last time we visited. We need to branch out and find new things to show and share. Stinky Foot Planet? I don't think we want to go there. You're right, TK. We don't want to play show and smell. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I bet we 
find all kinds of interesting things there. Discovery Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. share was a radio, but it's actually a noisemaker. A very loud noisemaker. That was a great show and share, TK. But wait till I show you mine. My show and share is a pogo stick. To use it, you just get on and hop, hop, hop around. I'll show you. Whee! That's not hopping, Emma. That's spinning. It's making me dizzy. Yeah, but it looks like fun. Ah, fun! like a whirly stick than a pogo stick because it spins you round and round. Thanks for showing and sharing the whirly stick, Emma. It was fun. Okay, now it's my turn. Come on! <coughs> my show and chair is this cool mini flying saucer. Cool! Awesome. And I think this bug makes it really fly. <laughs> heard of a rolling saucer. Me neither. But I think it wants us to chase it. Come on! Like a game of cat and 
my show chair is a flying, er, rolling saucer that plays cat and mouse. The end. <laughs> that was fun. Thanks, Orbit. Well, we sure have discovered lots of things today. Mm-hmm. Especially that things are not always what they seem to be. Rocking robots. Maybe that rock I found earlier isn't just a rock either. I bet Rob's right. Let's go see. Well, it sure feels like a rock. And it's hard like a rock. Ooh! It smells like a rock, too. Yuck! Here, Emma, catch! <laughs> <laughs> that didn't sound like a rock. new something to show and share. That's right, Emma, which means mission accomplished. Mission control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? planet to find new things for show and share. But we discovered that nothing we found was what we thought it was. TK's radio didn't play music like she thought. It made loud noises. And Emma's pogo stick was really a whirling stick. And Orbit's flying saucer was really a rolling saucer. Finally, we discovered that the rock I found wasn't just a rock. It also made awesome sounding space music. So we learned that things aren't always what they seem to be. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Discovery Planet. <laughs> huh? What was that? <laughs> Sorry, it's my tummy growling. Sounds to me like your tummy is telling us it's lunchtime. Lunchtime? But I thought we were going to the beach. Hmm, that's right. Hey, why don't we do both? We can have a picnic lunch at the beach. Good idea. Great idea. Bad idea. Huh? How come? Ants. Ants? Every time I've been on a picnic, ants show up and crawl over everything. Ick! One time ants even crawled into my treads, and I was jumping and dancing for a week. Well, have you ever had a picnic on a beach? Hmm, no, but I bet there are ants there too. But you don't know that for sure, Orbit. Why don't we give it a try? Let's have a picnic on a beach. Yeah! That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Everyone, how can I help you today? We want to have a picnic on a beach. That sounds like fun. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Look, the baseball planet. That's a fun place to go. But not if you want to build a sandcastle. The clock planet would be a good place to find out what time it is. <laughs> but not to have a picnic. Now that looks like the place to go. Yeah. Yes, the beach planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
Orbit, but those coconuts are up pretty high. And you're not exactly built for climbing trees. I'm not gonna climb the tree. Huh? Then how will you get the coconut? I'm gonna use my head. Well, while you're outsmarting coconuts, Emma and I will find the best spot to set up the picnic. <laughs> <laughs> Any spot is a good spot. As long as there are no ants. Yeah. TK works fast. She's building up a big appetite. <sighs> okay, coconuts, come down. Uh, picking a coconut is harder than I thought. Uh-huh. Okay, coconuts, if you don't want to come down, I'll knock you down. Ha! Huh? That wasn't supposed to happen. I'll go tell our fearless coconut hunter that lunch is almost ready. <laughs> and I'm gonna pick some of these yummy oranges. Okay. What are you making now, TK? A moat. It's a trench you fill with water, so the only way into the castle is over the drawbridge. Oh! Rock and robots! That's awesome! <laughs> Okay, this time, you're coming down. getting a coconut orbit? What do you mean? I already have one. See? Mm. No. Where? Right the... Huh? <laughs> but it was there a second ago. It was right... Ants! Ants took my coconut! Sick! There are no ants here, Orbit. Uh, besides, ants are too small to carry a coconut. But ants are strong. And maybe these were really big ants. Then you would have seen them. So then what happened to it? My coconut didn't just walk off by itself. Mm, I don't know, Orbit. It's a mystery. A mystery I'm gonna help you find the answer to. I didn't really want a coconut anyways. Hmm. couple of those oranges for my sand castle? Sure. Thanks, Emma. We can eat these later. What? Where did they go? Huh? <gasps> what is going on? I'm gonna name it Castle Orange. Uh huh? Where did I put that orange? Huh? Did I just see what I thought I saw? Huh? Huh? You're not going to believe this, but I picked some oranges and bananas, put them down, then they just disappeared. Huh? Ants. I knew it was ants. Sneaky ninja ants. First they took my coconut, now I'm as oranges. You're not going to believe this? But I got some oranges from Emma, put them down, then they just disappeared? disappeared? No, they floated off huh? all by themselves. Invisible ants. I don't think it was ants. I think it was a ghost. <gasps> My sandcastle is haunted. <gasps> I don't know 
what took your coconut or your fruit. But I'm sure it wasn't invisible ants or a ghost. Then what was it? There's one way to find out. We have to catch it. But we need something to catch it with. We can use my castle. Mm hmm We'll need something to lure the ants, or whatever it is, hmm. inside TK's castle. And I don't have any more coconuts. I'm all out of fruit. Ooh, maybe I can help. I was saving this for us to share for dessert. Yum! Ooh. A space lizard! Maybe it took the fruit. It's big enough and fast enough. But not invisible enough. That's why no one saw it. That space lizard can change its color to blend in with the background. It's called camouflage. Camouflage or not, he's got the bait. Now, TK, before he gets away. Got him. Good plan, Rob. It was teamwork. to share a beach party picnic with a new friend. <laughs> I'd say it was a perfect picnic. And that's mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> have a picnic. But the food we gathered mysteriously disappeared. Orbit thought ants took it, and TK thought it was a ghost. But ants are too small, and there are no such things as ghosts. It turned out to be a space lizard that could camouflage itself by changing colors. So we learned that we shouldn't jump to conclusions, and that we should gather the facts instead. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Space Wizard. Goodbye, Beach Planet. Worry about the bumpy ride. Whoa. Whoa. Something's wrong with our rocket ship. I'm sure TK will have it fixed in a minute. Oh. Did you fix it, TK? No, but I found the problem. One of the rocket boosters is broken. Oh, no. A busted booster? Oh, no. Huh? That's horrible, terrible, and even worse. Ah! That is bad, isn't it? Yes. If the good booster fails, the rocket will just stop. We have to get a new booster to replace the broken one. Then what are we waiting for? Garage Planet, here we come. That's our second problem. Huh? huh? What do you mean, second problem? The Garage Planet is too far away. The rocket will never make it all that way with only one good booster. Well, there must be some place we can find a second booster. Some place closer. There's no time to lose. We have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We've got to find a rocket booster to replace our broken one. That sounds serious. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Hmm, I bet there are all kinds of spare parts on the puzzle planet. 
But they're puzzle parts, not rocket parts. Mm -hmm. Hey, what about the farm planet? Mm. I'm sure we'd find a red rooster, but we need a rocket booster. That looks like a place where we might find rocket parts. Yes, the junkyard planet. Excellent choice. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Chips go. Ooh. Huh? Sorry, Rocket. I didn't mean you. Don't worry. Once we find you another booster, you'll be as good as new. Okay, gang. Let's spread out. to scare you. <laughs> Who did you think it was? The junkyard ghost? Ooh. <laughs> Cut it out, Orbit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go look over there. Uh... Huh? What was that? Orbit, I heard a noise. I did hear something. Relax. There's no one here but us. Uh, yes, you're right. I'm just being silly. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not rocket boosters. <gasps> Someone there? We're the only huh? ones here. I... I thought I saw someone. Hmm. Huh? huh? Well, you must have imagined you saw someone. Hmm. <gasps> well, I'm not imagining. Those footprints! <gasps> oh! I don't know, TK. They don't really look like footprints to me. Uh... Maybe that's what Junkyard Ghost footprints look like. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm sure something's out there. Well, I'm still hoping there's a used rocket booster out there. Somewhere. But we won't know until we find it. Let's go. Uh, you want to huh? stick with me, TK? No, it's okay, Rob. Thanks. Someone drew this flower. Hmm. Someone made this garden and twined the flowers. <laughs> huh? I knew it. I knew there was someone here. Wait, she was just as afraid as I was. Hmm. Hello? Sorry, did I scare you? I didn't mean to. That's your garden, isn't it? I think you like flowers. Do you like the one I made? It's not as pretty as yours. But you can have it if you like. Huh? My name's TK. 
I'm glad you like it. Huh. I'm starting to think there isn't one rocket booster on this whole planet. I found one! Huh? I think I found one! Over here! I need help! I almost got it! I might have been mistaken. There's no way across. How are we gonna get over? We're trapped. But not TK. Hmm. But what can TK do? I don't know, Orbit, but at least she's on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> TK! <laughs> Look out! Run, TK, run! <gasps> There's a monster after you! Oh! <laughs> she's not a monster. This is Blossom. I named her that because she really likes flowers. Uh -huh. See? I knew there was someone here. <laughs> hey! How did you get stuck way over there? <sighs> it's a long story. <sighs> What's important is how we're gonna get back across. Maybe TK's new friend can help us. What about it, Blossom? Can you help my friends? <laughs> Did you find another booster to replace this broken one? <sighs> no. <gasps> Blossom, where are you going? <laughs> yeah! Rocket boosters! <laughs> that does it. The rocket is all fixed. Then it's mission accomplished! Thanks to Blossom! <laughs> yeah! Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the junkyard planet try to find a new booster to fix the rocket. But while we were looking, TK found some strange footprints. But even though TK's new friend did look a little bit like a monster, she really wasn't. She was really nice. And she rescued us when we were stuck, helped us find the piece we were looking for to fix the rocket, and helped us learn that you can't tell what someone is like just by the way they look. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Blossom. Goodbye, Junkyard Planet. There you are. Hurry, come on in. Orbit says he's got a high-flying surprise to show us. Look what I made! It's a paper kite! Wow! I love it! Can I try it? Actually, you can try your own kite. I made one for each of you. Aw, thanks, Orbit. <laughs> You're welcome. Here's one with a wrench on it for TK and one with rockets for Rob. Thanks. Cool. So what are we waiting for? Let's fly them. But wait, we can't fly kites in here. There's no wind. Greasy gears, you're right. We need to find a windy place. That sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet.
control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need a place to fly our new kites. Oh, I love kite flying. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Tree planet. That's a cool place to relax in the shade. True, but our kites might get tangled in all those tree branches. Ooh, snow planet! Cool place, but maybe too cool. We might get frozen in a snowstorm if we go there, Orbit. Hey, that looks like a safe place. Windy planet, excellent choice. Now, get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone, get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Stop, Windy Planet. Overheated. The wind from this fan should help cool you off. Oh, thanks, TK. I don't get it. The kites are supposed to catch the wind and fly up high. Hey, has anyone noticed that none of the windmills are turning and none of the flags are flapping either? Uh huh? So? Well, they both move by wind power. So if the windmills aren't turning and the flags aren't flapping, that means there's no wind. No wind on the windy planet? Greasy gears. That's like no popcorn on the popcorn planet. Or no peanuts on the peanut planet. Or no snow on the snowball planet. Or no meatballs on the... Okay, we get it, Orbit. But the main thing is, no wind means no kite flying. Wait, maybe we can use TK's fan to fly our kites. Try it, TK. Okay, but I'm not sure it'll make enough wind. Three, two, one, lift off! Huh? Uh -huh. Looks like we'd need a fan as big as one of those windmills. Unless... What if we had a kite that doesn't need wind to fly? Wait here. I'll be right back. While he's off doing that, I think we've got a new mission to solve. The mystery of the missing wind. Yes, this is the windy planet, so the wind must have gone somewhere. Ooh, I love a mystery. Maybe the windmills will give us a clue. Come on! Whoa, these things sure are big. I wonder what they do. Windmills use wind power to do a lot of things like producing electricity or even grinding flour for bread. Hey, look at this. It looks like a control panel. Ooh, maybe that lever starts the windmill turning. Except wind makes windmills turn, Emma, not pulling levers. That's right. I keep forgetting. Then I wonder what it's for. Hey, everyone, look what I made. It's a robo-kite. Robo-kite? Robo -kite? It 
is powered by mini jets, so we don't need any wind. It flies by remote control. But doesn't that take all the fun out of flying a kite orbit? Just watch. Huh? 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 Pretty neat, huh? I guess, but it isn't the same as flying a real kite. But you can do tricks with my robo-kite. Watch! Kite is with wind. Hey, look! Huh? That flag's flying. That means there's wind. The windmill. Wait a minute. Windmills don't make wind. Wind makes windmills turn. Maybe these windmills are different. Huh? huh? Maybe these windmills do make wind. You know, like TK's fan. Then that would mean they're not really windmills. They're giant fans. Gracie Gears, they're all giant fans that make the windy planet windy. And I think I know how to turn them on. I'll bet this is the on switch. Hooray! You did it, Rob! Yay! Now there's lots of wind on Windy Planet. And you know what that means? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Look at them go! Your paper kites fly great, Orbit! <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'd say that's a big mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> well, we went to the Windy Planet to play with our kites. But for some reason, our kites wouldn't fly. That's when we noticed that the flags weren't flapping and the windmill wasn't turning. TK taught us that windmills use wind power to do a lot of things, like produce electricity and grind flour for bread. But without any wind, the windmill wouldn't work. We soon discovered it wasn't a windmill at all. It was a giant fan. We just had to turn it on. We also learned that things aren't always what they seem. And we finally got to fly our kite. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Windy Planet. Rob, why are you talking funny? Because today is intergalactic like a pirate day, and I'm trying to act like a pirate. <gasps> oh no! What happened to your eye? Nothing, Orbit. My eye is just fine. It's a pirate eye patch. There's more to being a pirate than just looking like one and talking like one, isn't there? Hmm. Maybe there's a place we can go where we can learn how to act like pirates. For real! 
Oh, yeah! That sounds like a mission! And you know what that means! Yay! Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet! Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go to a place where we can learn how to act like real pirates. Or Well, shiver me timbers. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. The clown planet. <laughs> that looks like fun, but we want to act like pirates, not clowns. Oh. <gasps> Pet Planet has a lot of pets to play with, but not a lot of pirates. Oh! <laughs> Look! The Buccaneer Planet! <gasps> and Buccaneer is another name for pirate. Yeah! That's a great place for our mission! Yeah! Yeah! Yes, the Buccaneer Planet! Excellent choice! Get ready for countdown! Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! Today is Intergalactic Act Like a Pirate Day, and we want to learn how to act like real pirates. And if anyone can teach us how to act like a pirate, Nosebump can. Yeah! <laughs> I'd be honored to teach you how to act like me, the proper pirate way. Awesome. Hooray! This is going to be fun. Thanks, Nosebump. Now, the first step to acting like a real pirate is sounding like a real pirate. Repeat after me. Arr, shiver me timbers. Arr, shiver me timbers. Well, scupper me supper. That was all righty, mateys. You sound just like pirates, sure and true. We do? Great. Great. All right. But there be plenty more to know about acting like a real pirate. So follow me, me hearty. To learning how to act like a real pirate is to learn a few real pirate steps. Oh, if you want to be a good pirate, it's best to listen to me. Then it's yo ho ho, and up we go over the briny sea. <laughs> Look at Nosebump go! <laughs> what kind of a dance is that? I know. It's called a jig. That's how real pirates dance. Sure and true, Miss Emma. Come on, everyone. Give it a whirl. Oh, if you want to be a good pirate, it's best to listen to me. Then it's yo ho ho and off we go over the briny sea. Stop the music. That's not the right way to dance a jig. Emma is a fine dancer. But you can't be adding spins or twirls to a pirate jig. It's the pirate way or no way. And the captain knows best. Okay, Nosebump. 
You're the expert. We want to act like real pirates do, and we'll do whatever you say. Yeah! That's the spirit! Now, it's on to your next pirate lesson. There be the perfect spot to bury me treasure. Because every pirate knows that X marks the spot. Hmm? Oh boy, oh boy. I wonder what kind of treasure is inside the chest. Gold? Silver? Precious jewels? <laughs> nope. Oranges. Uh, I love oranges. And we pirates always bury our most prized possessions. It's the pirate way. But that doesn't make much sense. You should keep oranges in a refrigerator, so they don't go bad. Ah, that's true. I've lost many an orange this way, and more bananas than I can count. But it's the pirate way, and it's the pirate way or no way. Huh? 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 Arr, shiver me timbers! I'm stuck! <gasps> and pulling. The only way to get a pirate out of a treasure hole is to dig him out. Huh? That's the pirate way. Aye, 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 Captain. So, where's your shovel? I buried it. The favorite shovel it was. But it's around here someplace. Here. It lies where the X marks the spot. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> we'll find that shovel the pirate way. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> So that's where those got to. They're for making me perfect pirate pancakes. Ice skates and comic books? And a big bunch of balloons? Not just balloons, buccaneer balloons. In all me favorite colors they are. Yeah. This isn't working. There are too many X's. And it'll be dark soon. <gasps> Captain? I know you want us to dig you out the pirate way, but maybe there's another way to do that. But the pirate way is the only way. It's not the only way, Nosebump. Look, we can use the things we found to get you out. Yeah. Come on, guys. <laughs> that slippery butter should do the trick. Now hold on, Captain, because here we yo-ho-ho -ho go! <laughs> Shiver me timbers! <laughs> <gasps> it worked! Yarr! Double yarr! Shiver me timbers! <laughs> Many thanks, me hearties. And I've learned me lesson. There's more than just the pirate way to get a deed done. <laughs> yeah. Like how eating oranges is better than burying them. Agreed. Well done. You're all officially pirates. Sure and true. Arr! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nosebump. I'd say this be another big mission accomplished. Arr! <laughs> Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> we wanted to learn how to act like real pirates, so we went to the Buccaneer Planet to learn from Nosebump the Pirate. Arr! He was really stuck in his old pirate ways and thought that the pirate way was the only way to do something right. But when Nosebump got stuck, he learned that it's important to try different ways to solve problems instead of sticking to the old way. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three.
he's not down here. <laughs> wow! Huh? Hmm. Maybe he's up in the attic. Oh! <laughs> it sounds like he's up to something. <laughs> the buttons, were you? <laughs> what? Oh, uh... No! I don't know what happened. It, uh... uh it just stopped on its own. <gasps> Maybe it's broken. Oh, no. Elevators are hard to fix. And it's hard to explore planets with a broken elevator. We'll need to get a new one right away. That sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? The rocket's elevator's broken. We need to find a new one. Oh, dear. Perhaps I can help lift your spirits. Let's see where you can go. The exercise planet? We need a new elevator to lift us up and down, not a place to lift weights. The fair planet has lots of fun rides, but not the type of ride we're looking for. The elevator planet! Perfect! Yes, the elevator planet! Excellent choice! Get ready for countdown! Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! to our old elevator and try fixing it. What? No! It's broken! We need a new one! You said so yourself! Yes, but be honest, Orbit. You know how much TK loves to fix things. Honest? What do you mean? I'm being honest. I, I mean, uh, just think of all the fun we'll have finding a new elevator. Let's go! Look at 
this one. This one must lead to a big tree. See? That's an up arrow orbit. You press it and the elevator goes up. <gasps> it does? Then what are we waiting for? Let's go up! <laughs> Stop. Oh, the beach! <laughs> A beach would be great if we wanted to lie in the sun every day, uh, but... Lie? Who's lying? Not me! Nuh-uh! -uh. No siree! Orbit, is something bothering you? What? No! I'm fine! Hey, I think I get it. Look! Each button has a sign, and the picture tells us where the elevator goes. Oh, I see. So this green button will take us to... an upside-down tree? <laughs> <laughs> no, Orbit. The arrow symbols on an elevator tell us which direction it goes. Up or down. See? Oh, so that's what those buttons mean. Uh, I knew that. Let's try this again. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome! It was, but we don't need an elevator that goes to different places. We need to find one that fits with our rocket. <gasps> or maybe we really should try to just fix our old elevator. Or we could just keep looking. I mean, it's the elevator planet. There has to be an elevator that we like here. Oh, hey, how about this one? It looks like this one travels to a planet, just like we do. It's perfect. Um, are you sure that's a planet orbit? It looks kind of like a... Going up! <laughs> a countdown? Huh? Why are we counting down? Three. That's not good. Two, one. planet? It's a moon! And moons don't have any... Whoa! Whoa! <gasps> Gravity! Ah! Oh, gotcha! Hang on, Emma! <clears throat> and I got you, Rob! <clears throat> and I've got TK! Whoa! <gasps> oh! Phew, that was close. If it wasn't for orbit, we'd be in orbit by now. <laughs> wow, if it wasn't for me, we wouldn't be here in the first place. This is all my fault. What do you mean? Uh, uh, I fibbed about the elevator. I was playing with the buttons, not knowing what they were for. Then I pushed the big red button and... Oh, uh, I broke the rocket's elevator. Orbit! That's it! Now we know why Rocket's elevator stopped working! We need to get back to the ship! Ta-da! It's fixed! But how? You didn't break the elevator, Orbit. You just pushed the wrong button by mistake. Uh, I'm sorry. I should have been honest from the start, but... I thought you'd be mad at me. You should never be afraid of telling the truth, Orbit. We're your friends, and friends are always there to help and understand. Really? Thanks, guys. But now we're all days being wasted. Wasted? Not at all. We had a great day. Sure, we had our shares of ups and downs, but this was one of the best missions ever. Yeah! And I'd say it's a big <laughs> mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we thought Rocket's elevator was broken, so we went to the elevator planet to find a new one. 
We had a lot of fun trying to find the right elevator, even though Orbit was acting kind of funny. We could tell something was bothering him, and it turned out Orbit was afraid to tell us what really happened to Rocket's elevator. He was afraid we'd be upset if he told us the truth. But good friends will always understand if you're honest with them. And when Orbit finally told us the truth, we knew right away how to fix the problem. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Elevator Planet. The brave adventurers made their way from the mystical minds of Mumu and on towards Mount Boom. But can the heroes survive the spooky woods? The bridge of Crackaboom and the scary space trolls? <gasps> Find out in book two. <laughs> <sighs> what are we going to do now? We'll have to wait forever to find out how the story ends. Hmm. I have an idea. Why don't we have an epic adventure? Let's act out the book and make up an ending of our own. Yeah! yeah! Great idea! And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go somewhere we can have an epic adventure and act out the ending of our book. That sounds fantastic. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Sports can be full of action and drama, but I don't think it's the right place for a storybook make-believe. Ooh, sticky candy is excellent but it doesn't seem right for a story either. Mm. What about that one? Yeah, Storybook Planet would be great. <gasps> yes, that's the perfect place for you to act out a fantastic story adventure. Now, get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Travelers, who comes looking for adventure on Storybook Planet? I'm Rob. These are my friends Orbit, Emma, and TK. And we're here to act out one of our favorite stories. It's called Spells and Space Trolls. <laughs> if you're going to act out a fantastic fairy tale, you need to look the part. Just step through the costume maker, and you'll soon be ready to step into your story. <laughs> wow, Orbit, you look amazing! Not Orbit, I'm Orbal the Orange, a mighty wizard! <laughs> Make way for Eminem the Barbarian, fearless and strong! <laughs> I'm Lagless, the super speedy elf princess, ready for action! <laughs> I'm Robagorn the Ranger! Ranger! Barbarian, elf, and wizard. You are the fellowship of the robots. Your adventure awaits. Oh. Now, take this magic bracelet. It will help you to find your way back to the rocket. What do you mean, back to the rocket? It's right th Huh? Wow, that's strange. 
One thing between you all. Leave no friend behind. The magic bracelet leads the way. The rocket you must find. The bracelet will guide us. The adventurers arrived at the dark and spooky woods. <laughs> the ghosts of the woods will let you pass if you leave us a gift, something that will last. Ghosts! They're not real, everyone. It's just a story, remember? Well, I'm not afraid. Give me the bracelet, and I'll go on ahead and come back for you once I reach the rocket. <laughs> What you must give is worth a lot, and with each other, lose it not. But if you fight, you'll have to mend this gift I seek that rhymes with end. I know what the ghost wants. Oh, great spirits of the spooky woods. What will you give us to let you pass? We'll give you our friendship. Friend rhymes with end. Yes, you may pass the woods safely. <laughs> you did it, Orbit. <laughs> Easy peasy. Oh, wise wizard Orball, the path is this way. Right, I knew that. <laughs> Adventurers explore the cosmic caves where they encounter the bridge of Crackaboom. Isn't this where they also meet? <laughs> to be having so much fun. <clears throat> I thought I'd like to play along in your adventure, too. Hey, wait, where's the bracelet? Oh, no, Squeak has the magic bracelet. How will we find the rocket now? TK, you must have something in your tummy trunk that will get Squeak to come back. And Eminon, if Squeak can be lured back, someone will have to snatch the bracelet. But what about you guys? I've got my rocket boots. I can pull the others out. Hurry and get Squeak, or we'll never get the bracelet back. I've got just the thing to catch Squeak. Squeak's mouse food. Good thinking, TK. You stay here and shake the box. <laughs> Squeak! Dinner time! Oh, gotcha! Yeah! Nice going, Eminem. Mm. Uh. Rob, 
You did it! You got the bracelet! Mm -hmm. Every one of us has a job in this fellowship. And yours is carrying this bracelet to lead us back home. We must be close. Let's go! <laughs> and the mighty adventurers journeyed past the spooky woods, through the cosmic caves. With friendship and teamwork, they made it to Mount Boom, where they found their rocket. I'd say that's an epic mission accomplished. Yeah! <laughs> Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't know how our story ended, so we went to Storybook Planet to act out our own adventure. But we all got carried away and forgot about our fellowship. Every role is important, but they only tell a story if they all work together. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Storybook Planet. Everyone, come on in. Oh! <laughs> Just keep your head up. <laughs> so, is soccer your favorite sport, Emma? Yes, I love it. See this? It's called dribbling. Wow, Emma, you're great at dribbling. I don't think I could do that with my treads. It looks fantastic, but do you have to use your feet? I'm better at games where I use my hands. Me too. In soccer, you're supposed to use your feet. It just takes practice. Can you show us? Sure. Yay! This is how you kick it. <laughs> <laughs> All right! I've got it. Uh, I think I've got it. It's coming to me. Look out! <laughs> Uh-oh. Sorry, Sorry, Emma. Emma. Soccer ball we had. How can we play now? Maybe we can go somewhere where we can get a new one and play soccer outside where there's more room. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that Yay! means? <laughs> <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Ball and need to find a new one. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The bowling planet. Maybe we could kick bowling balls around. Bowling balls are way too hard, Orbit. We'd hurt our feet. Oh, oh how about the farm planet? There would be lots of fields to play on there. Hmm. But we need a soccer ball first. We'd just be playing with chickens on that planet. Now that looks like a planet where we could get a new soccer ball. <laughs> yes, that's the ball planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. <laughs> Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Four. 
next up, the Ball Planet. Wow, this place has a ball for every game there is. If we can't find a soccer ball here, we won't find one anywhere. Oh! <laughs> Balls, okay? Uh. Yes! He's got the range. He's wishing he could play soccer instead? Um, gee, Emma, I'd love to play soccer, but basketball is fun too. Can't we play that? Well, I thought we came here to get a new soccer ball and to play soccer. Is everything okay, Emma? Um, sure. It's fine. I, uh, I just really hope we could all play soccer together. Emma's right. We did say we'd play soccer when we got here. So, you want to play? Yeah! Yeah! Awesome! This is going to be tons of fun! Okay, let's try this again. Ready, TK? Are the nets supposed to be this big? Okay, Orbit. Now we pass it back and forth and try to get by Rob. Huh? Right, let's do it. person's game and see which one we all like the best. Mm -hmm. Go shoot hoops. I'll be practicing ping pong if anyone needs me. I've got a giant bucket of tennis balls to hit. See you. Oh, it's no fun playing by myself. I miss my friends. Oops. Look out, TK! Sport. 
That was super fun for all of us. Mm. Who says it's not a real game? Then we have a new mission. To play a game together that everyone's good at. Let's play Super Fun Robo Ball! Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the ball planet to replace Emma's soccer ball. We found that not everyone is good at every game. But we also learned that we all have different skills. And with enough practice, you can get really, really good at a sport. I love practicing ping pong. Best of all, we learned how fun it can be to make up your own game, especially when it's a game that all your friends can play together. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Now buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Ball Planet. Hi, everyone. You're just in time. Oh! Whoa! Oh! Everyone's helping me look for Doug. The stuffed dinosaur I wanted the fair. Maybe Doug got stuck in the train. Not in here. Not in here. He's not here either. <laughs> Sorry, Rob. Huh? Any luck, Squeak? Oh, it's no use. We've looked everywhere. I must have left Doug on a planet by mistake. Don't worry, Rob. If we can't find your old toy, we'll win you a brand new one. Yeah! That's a great idea, Emma! Well, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. For us to pick a planet. 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 Mission Control. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? I lost my toy dinosaur from the fair, and we want to go win a new one. That sounds like a fantastic mission. Let's see where you can go. Yes! That looks amazing! Playground Planet is a lot of fun, but I don't think it'll help us win a stuffed toy. Museum Planet is great for finding out about real dinosaurs. But Rob wants a toy dinosaur. Oh, now that looks like a place where we can win a prize. Yes, the Fun Fair Planet. Terrific choice. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
spare planet. Orbit, we have to win it. Huh? How do we do that? By playing games. Each game costs one ticket. If we win, we can choose a prize. Ha <laughs> Aha! Perfect. We have enough money for four tickets. That means we have one, two, three, four chances to win. We'll win that toy dinosaur in no time, as long as we work together. Hey, where'd Emma go? Emma, wait! Shouldn't we come up with a plan together? Rob's right. After all, we only have four tickets. If you use one, we'll only have three left. Don't worry! This is a dancing game. There's no way I'll lose. All I have to do is follow the pattern as it lights up on the floor. Ready, set, go. Go, Emma! Go, Emma! You're doing great! This game is too slow! My feet have got to go, go, go! What do you think? We think your dancing is amazing. But you got so carried away, you forgot to follow the rules. Oh, no. You mean I lost? Don't worry, Emma. If we work together, we can still win a prize. Whoa! Do you guys smell what I smell? Let's go check it out! for everyone. It says here that you can buy four candy apples for one ticket. Totally worth it. But now that you've used up your ticket, you can't play a game. Don't worry. I've got it covered. Don't forget your candy apple. Whoa! Yeah! Oops. <laughs> Yes, this is what they call a sticky situation. whack a frog huh? is my favorite game. How do you play? When the frogs pop up, you have to knock them back down with the mallet. But you can't miss even one, or you lose. Whoa, 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 whoa. That sounds pretty hard, TK. And we only have two more tickets, which is only two more chances to win the dinosaur. No problem. I'm great at this game. Ready? Hey, the mallet's missing. Oh, no. You can't play without a mallet. Set. What are you gonna do? I'm sure I've got something that will do the trick. A hammer! Perfect. <laughs> Phew. Go. TK. Looks like I've got the last ticket and the last chance to win the toy dinosaur. I guess it's up to you, Rob. Uh. Oh, 
All you have to do is ring the bell, and you'll win the game. I can't look. What if we don't win the prize? Come on, Rob. It's all up to you. Ooh. All up to me? You can do it! Come on, Rob! Yay, Rob! This hammer is heavy! And all we had to do was work together. I'd say that's a big mission accomplished. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to the Fun Fair Planet so we could win a new toy dinosaur. But things didn't go exactly as planned. First, Emma got so excited, she forgot to follow the rules. Then Orbit spent all his tickets on candy apples for everyone. And when TK tried to win a prize playing Whack Frog, she got a little... Mm, stuck. Then it was my turn to try, but the hammer was too heavy for just one person. Things worked out when we all worked together to win the prize. That's a wonderful lesson, Rob. Well done. I'd say it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Fun Fair Planet. We love Andy's adventure so much that I decided to write my own Andy the Android story. Ahem. <clears throat> Once upon a time, Andy the Android was flying through space. Andy flies to the top of a giant tower made of mattresses, oh, <laughs> where the princess is trapped. But, oh, just as Andy was about to save the fairy planet princess from the wicked Robo Pigs, he, he, what? Um, well, that's the problem. I don't know what. Each time I think of an ending, it doesn't feel like the ending of a real Andy the Android story. Hmm, maybe there's a place we can go that could help. A place to inspire the perfect ending to your story. Yes, what a great idea. That sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need help to find a great ending for my story. Oh, my. Sounds like a troubled tale. Let's see where you can go. The exercise planet? That's a great place for making muscles, but not for making up stories. Ball Planet is a great place for bouncing balls, but not for bouncing around story ideas. <gasps> hey, the Storybook Planet. That Yay! sounds perfect. Yay! Yes, the Storybook Planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
Rainbow Planet. Familiar? Where are we? Weird. This house is made of straw? Gotcha. <gasps> and this one's made of sticks. And I bet the last house is made of bricks. These houses are from the Three Little Pigs. We're in a real story. Wow, now's my chance to see how a real story really works and ends. Well, I don't see any pigs around, so why don't we be the Three Little Pigs? Okay. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I guess that means I'm the Big Bad Wolf. Roar! <laughs> what happens next? something like that, Rob. Uh, it is a great ending, but I don't think it's right for my story. Let's keep looking. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> a giant pile of mattresses? Hey, I know this story. It's the princess and the pea, one of my favorites. Me too. In this story, they kept looking and looking until they found the one true princess. <gasps> <laughs> One princess at your service. <laughs> hey, this bed has a bump in it. <gasps> I think I feel the pee. I still feel the pee. <laughs> Still feel it. <laughs> that must be one big pea. <gasps> hey, if Emma can feel that little pea under all those mattresses, then we've found our one true princess. How's that for a fun ending, Rob? It's good, but I'm not sure how it fits into my story. I have a princess, but I don't have pea. <laughs> <laughs> Rockin' Robots, that's a giant beanstalk. So this story must be... Jack, Jack and the Beanstalk! Wow! <laughs> this story has a brave hero just like my story. He rescues the goose that lays the golden eggs. Yeah, but this story also has a big, meanie giant. Uh... Be yeah. my uh... Stay away from my goose or you'll hear from me. You see? Don't go up there, Rob! But how else will I see how this story ends? Don't worry, Orbit. I'll be careful. Yeah! <laughs> Unhand that golden goose, Mr. Giant! It is I, Rob the Robot! <gasps> oh no! The giant is chasing Rob! I've got it! You guys! I've got the golden goose! Be huh? my bow boo! Put down that goose, or I'll get you! Ah! Look out! Ah! I don't think I like this story! Ah! Do you think Rob is okay? Oh, I hope so. I know so. 
I'm okay. Ta-da! Wow! You did it, Rob! He saved the goose that laid the golden eggs! <laughs> awesome! Super terrific! That was the most exciting ending ever! But there aren't any giants in my Andy the Android story. <sighs> I don't think there's one story on this whole planet with the right ending. Not for my story, anyway. <gasps> You're right, Rob. There isn't one story. There are three. Each of the stories we were in had bits and pieces that were also in your story. Remember? <gasps> Emma's right. There was a princess, a hero, and pigs. But how does that help my story? You can do it, Rob. You'll think of a great ending. Don't give up. Hey, that's it! Don't give up! That's the one thing in all three stories that's the same. Jack never gave up. In The Princess and the Pea, they never gave up looking for the princess. Even the three little pigs never gave up. And do you know what else? What? Andy the android never, ever gives up. <gasps> I think I know how to end my story. Yay! Awesome! Yeah. Tell us, Rob. <laughs> it could go something like this. Andy flies to the top of a giant tower made of mattresses, where the princess is trapped. As the mean robo-pigs get closer, Andy and the princess leap off the tower, falling and falling until the flying book swoops in to catch them, just in time. The end. <laughs> it's perfect! Thank you! And do you know what else? It's also another perfect mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> Today, we went to the Storybook Planet, hoping to find just the right ending for my Andy the Android Adventure Story. It had lots of books filled with great stories, but none of them felt exactly like the story that I wanted to tell. I almost gave up, but thanks to my friends, I kept trying. And that's when I came up with the perfect ending for my story. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Storybook Planet. Everyone, come on in. We're going to have a party to celebrate the anniversary of our first mission. I've got the cake. Yay! Check. <laughs> Emma has the milk. Yay! Check. <laughs> and Robin Orbit have the balloons. Huh? Uh, what balloons? Uh, didn't I ask you to get balloons for the party? No, you didn't, TK. Sorry. Oh, no. I must have forgotten. We can't have a party without balloons. Maybe there's still time for us to get some. Somewhere. Well, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find balloons for our party. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. What about the art planet? That's a good place to decorate balloons, but I don't think we'll find any there. The onion planet? Hmm. I think that choice is a bit of a stinker. P.U. Now that looks like a planet where we can get some party balloons. Yes, that's the party planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry.
Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! in a nest somewhere? Maybe it's afraid of heights. Birds' nests are usually up high. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I see the answer. A nest way up there. How did an egg from way up there get way down here? Beats me, Emma. But I think we have a new mission to get this egg back way up there. We should get something to carry it in. Like a basket. Come on, everyone, help me look. <laughs> huh? Uh-oh. <laughs> this is the only thing we could find. It's so big. Where's Rob? Up here. He's floating away. We have to go after him. But how? Uh... Ooh! With that! We can tie that big balloon to this party guy. And float up after him. Great idea, Orbit! Well, let's get tying. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, little birdie. Huh? Hey! These balloons are going to help me get you back up to your nest. Whoa! Ooh. I sure hope I don't run out of balloons before we get to the top. Tummy trunk that can help. Huh? No thanks, TK. We're not hot. I know, Orbit. But we can use the fan like an airplane propeller. Now that's what I call a fantastic idea. <laughs> <laughs> We're stuck. I can't use my hands and my feet. That's it, my rocket boots. They won't fly us to the top, but they'll get us unstuck. Hang on, little birdie. <laughs> I just hope you're not scrambled when we get you back to your nest. We're almost there. Just a bit. Huh? Uh-oh. Sounds like we sprung a leak. Ah! We're going down. The only way to make us go up is to lighten our load. We have to throw everything overboard. What? Everything? 
We're the only things in here. Not quite. Hold this, Emma. Actually, I've been thinking about losing a little weight. rough ride. Tell me about it. Now you're back home, little birdie. Safe and... Huh? Hey, what are those little red eggs doing in the nest? I think maybe they belong here. And the green one doesn't. Mm-hmm. You mean it's some other kind of bird? It's not a bird egg! It looks like we have a new mission! To get this baby lizard back down where we found him! You can ride down in our balloon! No thanks, I'm walking down. I've had enough balloon rides for one day. Us too! Okay, don't forget, we have to collect all the balloons and bits, so no animals try to eat them by accident. Good thinking, TK. <laughs> okay, TK, we picked up all the balloons. And all the stuff we dropped out of our basket on our way. Great job, everyone. I'd say that's mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to the party planet so we could get balloons for our party. We found an egg, so it was our job to return it to a nest we saw way up on a tower of presents. But when we got it to the nest, it turned out we were wrong. It didn't belong there. We learned that not all eggs are bird eggs. Other animals like lizards are born from eggs too. And TK helped us learn that it's important to make sure broken balloons go in the trash so that birds and animals don't try to eat them and choke. Those are excellent lessons to learn. Well done, everyone. Time to go. Get ready for countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. has a problem. Ah! My moon boots! I've looked everywhere, but I can't find my moon boots. Oh, how could I have lost them? <gasps> hmm, don't ask me. I've even lost track of how many things I've lost. <gasps> Let's think, Emma. Huh? Where were you the last time you had them? Hmm, let's see. I wore them on the rainy planet, and then I had them on the mud planet, Wait, did I have them on the rainy planet? Or maybe it was the... Oh, I can't remember. But they're definitely not here. I've looked everywhere. How are we going to help you find them if we don't know where to look? Hmm. I've always wondered where lost things go. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Huh? 
Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? Emma lost her moon boots. We want to help her find them, but we don't know where to look. Where can we go? Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Hey, do you think you lost your boots on the pillow planet, Emma? Um, I don't think so. What about the sticky candy planet? I can't remember. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm? That looks like a good place to look for Emma's boots. Yes, the lost and found planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Toy. I'm sure we can find Emma's moon boots. Oh, look! And it's your tummy trunk. finding the lost boot section. Hey, where are they? Huh? Orbit! TK! I'll have a look. Can you see them, Rob? Nope. All I can see are boxes. And boxes. And more. Are you okay? Yes. Are you? Yes. But I think we're <gasps> stuck. <gasps> what are we going to do? <sighs> Orbit! TK! stayed back with Rob and Emma. Ooh, you're not gonna believe this! I found Emma's lost moon boots. Am I the best finder ever or what? <gasps> huh? You found a box with no bottom. So every time I put something in the top, it fell out. 
sorry, Orbit. I didn't know. I... I also don't know where we are. Huh? How do we get back to Rob and Emma? <sighs> I have no idea. This is all my fault. I should have been paying attention to where we were going. Now we're lost on the lost and found planet. Just like the lost stuff I found and lost again. <sighs> Wait a minute. Your things fell out one by one and left a trail. Yes, we can follow my things right back to where we started. Exactly. TK, I am a finding genius. And you are a genius for picking a box with no bottom. Thanks, Orbit. I think. Orbit! TK! Aw, it's no use yelling, Rob. They can't hear us through all these boxes. But there must be some way we can let them know we're in here. My whistle! is coming from over here. Huh? Whoa! A stowaway space frog! Hey there, little guy. Look! I found a space frog! Wow, he's cute! We should give him a name. Herbie? Henry? Oh, I know! Harold! Harold, I like 
pocket. Where'd you come from, Harold? My creature book says frogs live on land and in water. It doesn't say anything about rockets. We should find Harold the home. Yeah, that sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? Yay! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to find a home for Harold. Who's Harold? Harold is a space frog. Finding Harold a home sounds like a great mission. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The ice planet. Ooh, it'll be too cold there for Harold. The water planet? Hmm. Space frogs like water, but not all the time. The forest planet. That's perfect. Yes, the forest planet. Terrific choice. Get ready for a countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop the forest planet. <laughs> Yay! Wow, this is a pretty planet. I'm sure we'll find a good home for Harold here. Right, Rob? Huh? Uh, Rob? Whee! I'll race you, Harold. Boy, you're a fast little froggy, but you don't say much, do you? <laughs> Come on, Rob. We're here to find a home for Harold, remember? Oh, right. Which way do you want to go, Harold? Okie dokie. We go that way. Wait, we need to know what to look for. My book said frogs live on land or in water. Right. So we should find a home that has both land and water. I bet Harold can lead us to the perfect spot. He's a smart little guy. Someplace else. That okay with you, Rob? Rob? <laughs> uh, what are you doing, Rob? Playing hide and seek with Harold. It's his turn to find me. <laughs> <laughs> But we're supposed to be finding Harold a good home, not playing games. Oh, right. Sorry. We'll find you a good home, won't we, buddy? <laughs> this way, everyone. But what about the canyon? We're not going to let a little old canyon stop us, are we, Harold? What's that? There's a good home for you on the other side? Okay, let's go. Ah! Rob? I don't think... Huh? That 
was a close one. But you weren't scared, were you, buddy? No, I didn't think so. Come on, it's not so bad. <sighs> this better be worth it. Come on, Harold. Let's have some fun while we're waiting for them. <laughs> that tickle. Ooh, nice move, Harold. Come on, Harold. Speak. Croak. Croak. Okay, then. Roll over, like this. <laughs> Looks like you're the one teaching me to do tricks. <laughs> Phew, thanks. Huh? huh? Rob? Hey, what took you so long? We were helping each other across the canyon. Do you hear that? It sounds like water. That means there's both land and water here. This is a good home for Harold. I don't think so. What? Why not? Harold says he's hungry. There's nothing for him to eat here. Eat? Oh, I never thought of that. It says here that space frogs eat space flies. Well, that makes sense, but I don't see any space flies. I guess we'll just have to keep looking. Come on, Harold. Ah! <laughs> uh, <coughs> I think I swallowed a bug. Mm. Ew. Ah, they're pesky space bugs. You mean food for Harold! Ooh, yeah! This place is perfect! Look, it's got land, and there's a nice pond nearby. That's water and bugs! Ugh, lots of them. I don't think this huh? is a good home for Harold. What do you mean? We've been all over this planet, and we finally found a great place for Harold. Yeah, what's wrong with it? Nothing, I guess, except that, well, Harold will be here and I'll, I'll be on the rocket. We understand, Rob. You'll miss Harold. We all will. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've become friends. He'll miss me too much. He won't have any friends here. Huh? <laughs> He's happy! Listen! More space frogs! Now this is the perfect home for Harold. He'll have everything he needs, including friends. Well, bye, Harold. I'll miss you. But I'd say this is a pretty big mission accomplished. <laughs> mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So... What did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> well, we went to the forest planet to find a home for Harold, one with both land and water. Only we realized Harold also needs something to eat, space flies. We finally found a place with land and water and food, but I didn't want to leave Harold we'd become good friends. Then we discovered Harold could have lots of friends, and that made me happy, because I knew Harold would be happy. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, 